Bat Baby Finds a Home, written and illustrated by Robert Quackenbush. To Piet and Margie. This is the title page. Bat Baby and his mother and father lived in an old barn near the woods. They were a happy family of little brown bats. At night, they darted about in open fields hunting for insects. During the day, they slept in the cool, dark barn. One morning, Bat Baby couldn't sleep. He heard strange noises. Something bad is coming, he said. He woke up his mother and father. Bat Baby and his mother and father looked outside. In the dawn light, they saw a bulldozer. It came closer and closer until... Boom! Bang! Bam! The bulldozer hit the barn! The barn trembled and shook. Beams fell and the roof began to cave in. Bat Baby and his parents could do only one thing. Fly away. We must find a new place to roost, said Bat Baby's father. I want to go to the woods to say goodbye to Squirrel and Woodpecker, said Bat Baby. There's no time, said his mother. The Bat family flew as fast as they could over the countryside. They came to a little church. It had a very nice steeple, just perfect for bats. Let's stay here, said Bat Baby's mother. They flew into the steeple. They were very tired. They folded their wings and fell sound asleep. They didn't wake up until sunset. This is a perfect home, said Bat Baby's father. But all at once. Bong, bong, bong. Bong, 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 went the steeple bell. The loud clanging of the bell sent the bat family flying from the steeple. They were in search of a new home again. They flew and flew until they came to a farmhouse. They saw an open cellar window and went inside. How dark and cool it is, said Bat Baby. Perfect, said his mother. Dandy, said his father. Then they heard. Meow, hiss, hiss. A cat was ready to pounce. Bat Baby and his mother and father were very scared. They flew out of the cellar. They flew and flew until they came to a tunnel in a hill. Perfect, said Bat Baby's father, but let's eat before we get settled. They went to a nearby field. They gobbled down hundreds of pesky insects that ruined crops. Then they flew back to the tunnel. How peaceful it is here, said Bat Baby's mother. But suddenly... Chug, 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 honk, honk, honk. A train came roaring through the tunnel. Bat Baby and his parents pressed against the ceiling. They were covered with soot as the train whizzed past. Then it was gone. Goodness, said Bat Baby's mother. What was that? I don't know, said his father, but we had better leave before another one comes along. Off they flew again. They flew and flew until they saw an old wooden house. Old houses have attics, said Bat Baby's mother. We could live there. But as they went into the attic, they heard... Hoot! Hoot! It was an owl! Oh no, said Bat Baby. This house is already taken. Off they flew again. They flew from the old house to a superhighway nearby. They settled on a steel beam underneath the highway. Perfect, said Bat Baby's father. But then they heard. 
Rumble, rumble, rumble. Cars and trucks on the move made a lot of noise above them. This will never do, said Bat Baby's mother. So they flew away again. The Bat family flew and flew until they found a tall water tower. Wind blew and blew around it. Would the Bat family ever find a nice home? I'll ask Squirrel and Woodpecker to help us, said Bat Baby. Be back by sunup, said his parents. Bat Baby flew all the way to where the old barn had been. Then he flew into the woods. He flew to the hollow tree where Squirrel and Woodpecker lived. Bat Baby woke them up. He told them his problem. I know just the place, said Squirrel. I'll take you there. They all went to the far side of the woods. There was a new house with a big, beautiful garden. But where can my family live? Bat Baby asked. Woodpecker pointed. Bat Baby looked. What did he see? Fastened to the big house was a tiny house just for bats. The folks in the new house want bats to come and protect their gardens from insects, said Woodpecker. In a flash, Bat Baby raced back to the water tower. Bat Baby brought his parents to see the bat house. Just the place, said his father. They were settled in their new home by sunrise. Thanks to Bat Baby, his family's long night of searching for a home was over. And it was truly perfect. The truth about bats. Kinds of bats. All bats fit into two groups. The first one is called Megachiroptera, or big bats. They live in the tropics and eat fruit. The second group is called Microchiroptera, or small bats. Brown bats belong to this group. Very few bats, 1% are thought of as vampire bats. These live mostly in Latin America. They feed off the blood of cows, drinking just a few drops at a time when the cows are asleep. True or false? Bats get in your hair. False. Bats are flying mice. False. Bats are blind. False. How bats see in the dark. Bats see with bat sonar when they hunt for insects at night. Bats send out high-pitched sounds. The sounds bounce off things and send back echoes that the bats can hear. A bat can tell by an echo how far away something is and how big it is. Using sonar, a brown bat can catch more than 600 mosquitoes in an hour. Homes for Bats The best homes for brown bats are abandoned mines and bat houses. Abandoned mines may have metal gates with small openings. Bats can get through the gates, but people can't. A bat house like the one in this book can give shelter to a whole group or colony of brown bats. A bat house has thick walls to protect bats from the cold. Inside, the walls should be rough so bats can cling to them and roost. Bats are mammals, like humans and all other animals who give milk to their young. Of all the mammal species in our world, almost a quarter of them are bats. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. They eat pesky bugs, help flowers grow, and spread the seeds of rainforests. When bees go to bed, bats go to work. Bats want to be left alone. They should never be touched or bothered in any way. The end.